Hi everybody, I'm back. Happy Sunday to everyone. I hope you all are having a very wonderful Sunday. Today, today I'm going to show you all how to make lentil soup. I'm so excited for this recipe. You all have asked for it, so I'm in this kitchen making it. So today, um, here's what you will need. I'm choosing to use the green lentils. You can get green lentils. Let me show you. See this? See how little? Little teeny tiny things. But guess what? They pack, they're they packed with so many nutrients and they are delicious. So I've been soaking these for six hours in cold water and I've changed the water about four times. Okay? So we're going to do the lentils. You will need carrots. You all that know me and that are familiar with me and my channel, you know that I cannot stand carrots. But when you cook lentils, you have to have some carrot in there. So I'm gonna put some in there. Not too much, just a little bit will do, okay? I'm gonna use one large garlic clove as well as celery. We're gonna use some butternut squash today. And I'm going to use sazon. Sazon is great for meats, but it's also good for soups and stews as well. I'm going to use, let's open this up. I've washed my meat. This is stewed beef. Okay, that has been pre-chunked, if that makes any sense, pre-cut. I've washed the beef with just vinegar, salt, and cold water. You will need one medium onion as well as fresh parsley. Beef broth, I'm going to use some ground allspice, cracked black pepper, turmeric, and um, I'm going to try. I've never tried putting curry in my lentils, but I want to put just a little bit in there today. Um, we're going to use some garlic powder as well as the beef maggi bouillon flavor. We're going to use diced tomatoes as well. This is a 14.5 ounce can, and you wanna use some fresh olive oil, okay? So, if you all hear something in the background, it's my, um, my dishwasher that I have going, okay? All right, so let me show you what pans we're going to use today. We're gonna to use this pan here, and you can see I've put a little bit of olive oil in this pan. I wanna heat this pan up to a medium high heat, and I wanna to start to sear our beautiful beef cubes, okay? And what you're gonna do when you're searing your meat off is you're causing um, the meat to be seared on the outside. You're gonna sear all those juices in the inside, and it's gonna be nice and tender, okay? So we're not trying to cook it, we just wanna get a golden brown seared crust on the outside to sear all those juices in, and that way our meat can be nice and tender, okay? So we're gonna use this pan, and over here, here's a pan that I'm gonna use for the lentils. I'm gonna cook the lentils by themselves, and then once the lentils are done, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna to do to incorporate everything else, okay? So first thing that we need to do, let's come over this way. You wanna grab your meat, and put it in your pan, just like so, okay? And I'm not gonna season the meat. Not gonna season the meat. These lentils are gonna be so seasoned. Um, the seasoning in the lentils will actually help with the flavor of the meat for sure, okay? Trust me when I tell you this, all right? So then, let's come over this way our meat is getting ready to start cooking. Come over this way with your pan. And the lentils. Don't use the water that you're soaking your lentils in, okay? Don't use those, that water to cook your lentils in, okay? Because when you use that water, that water causes gas. Uh, honestly, it does. It might sound funny, but it does. Um, so that's why I keep draining the water often. So this will be my fifth time that I've drained the water. 
So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a nice rinse and then I'm gonna put seven cups of water in with my one pound bag of lentils. I'm gonna wash these. Just a quick rinse because I've already washed them, okay? Just a quick rinse, just to make sure that we don't have any. Uh, I've already went through it and to make sure we don't have any dirt or stones or sand in here. This is just one more extra rinse. And then like I said, we're gonna cook these in our pot with seven cups of cold water, all right? We're not gonna put a lid on them, we're just gonna let them come up to a boil, okay? until they get nice and tender. Okay, everyone, let me show you my pan that I'm going to use. This is cold water. We have seven cups. We're gonna turn this on a medium high heat, all right? And we're just gonna let it go. And one thing that I don't want you all to do, don't season this, okay? We're gonna have plenty of time to season this. If you put salt in this early, It'll take the lentils forever to cook, okay? And they'll, they'll have a tough texture. When you're making lentils, you wanna put your salt in last. But I'll show you all how to do that. So let's get this on the stove, just like so. And you can see I'm putting them on the back burner and our beef is starting to cook up over here. I'm going to put, you see I put my wok there because we're gonna to need to cook some vegetables. After the vegetables are nice and cooked, then I'll bring my lentils back up to the front, okay? And you can see that um, the meat is starting to brown. You don't have to go in messing with it. You'll see when it starts to get nice and golden brown and crusty on the outside, and then you can turn it. So first what I'd like to do, let's start to chop up our beautiful vegetables that we have here. The butternut squash is already chopped and washed. Let's go ahead and chop up our garlic. I've taken the skin off. Just give it a nice whack. Give it a whack just helps you to get that garlic started so you're not chopping all day, okay? And it also helps to get the skin off if you haven't taken the skin off already, all right? You have to put you some fresh garlic in there. If you want some good lentils, oh yeah, if you want you some good lentils, put you some flavor in there, guys. You hear me? Putting flavor in these lentils, you are going to lose your mind. And anyone that eats them, because I feel like not enough people eat lentils. I've had a few of you ask me, Gina, can you please make some lentil soup or lentils? And I thought about it and I thought about it and I, and I woke up this morning and I said, okay, I'm making lentils. I went to the store er, bright and early this morning to get all of my fresh ingredients. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to put my garlic in a little tiny bowl. And then when I need it, I'll just scoop it right on out my little bowl. See that there? And like I said, I'm not a fan of carrots. I, you, you know, if you all watch a lot of my cooking, you won't see any carrot recipes because I, I don't like carrots. But in, when you're making lentils, you have to have them. So I'm gonna use them, I'm not using a lot. I'm not using enough to make a flavor that I don't like. Okay, can you understand what I'm saying? I'm using just a little bit and, and I can work with this little bit of carrots, no problem. Okay, just like so. And I might only use three or four. I just wanna get that carrot in there for sure. All right, let's cut a couple more. Boy, that beef is nice and fresh and it's smelling good. Ooh, it smells good. Oh yeah. I'll do one more carrot and then I'll be satisfied with the carrots. Beautiful. You can chop them smaller if you wanted to, but there's really no need to. It's up to your discretion. Okay, that's enough. Let's 
put my carrots here in a little bowl so I can get them out the way. I hope you all are having a beautiful, happy Sunday. I hope you all had a great time at church today. If you all haven't seen my video that I did yesterday for the coconut cake, please check it out because that video is awesome. You hear me? It was so much fun to make. And that cake, guys, oh my goodness, listen to me. If you never listened to me before, if you never had coconut cake, you have to try it. You have to try it at least once in order to say whether you like it or not. And that cake, when you, I've already washed my celery. When you, um, you, and this is a cake that you have to keep in the refrigerator. When it sets in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, give it maybe four hours, it tastes even better. It is absolutely amazing. Check that video out and let me know what you all think. Okay. We got some celery going on here, and you see how I'm just going across the rib of the celery this way so that I can make smaller pieces just like so. And I don't think I'm going to actually use that one. I don't need it. Those of you that are not fans of fresh celery, I know my dad is not a fan of fresh celery. I don't think so. Um, you can use celery seed. Absolutely you can. No problem there. This is enough celery. Well, let's see. <laughs> Always do it to myself. <laughs> a little tiny bit more. That little bit won't hurt, right? There we go, baby. Okay, so now I can just put my celery right on top of that beautiful butternut squash. Butternut squash is awesome. If you all haven't seen my video for um, how to make beef stew, uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out because when I make beef stew, I use butternut squash and it is one of the best uh, vegetables that you can ever use in a soup or a stew. Let's take a peek in at our beef just to see what it's looking like and give it a nice turn. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. All right. Just to get it nice and golden brown. That's beautiful. All right, let's move this over here with our other veggies. I love just to look at my pressed veggies and my spices and everything, how I make it look so nice and pretty. That's when I start to get excited about my video. <laughs> when I'm starting to rearrange everything really nice and neatly, and I see my fresh vegetables sitting up here, that's when I start getting so excited about my recipe. So I'm just going to cut some of this onion, and I think I'm going to use the whole onion, honestly, okay? Chop you some pieces, medium-sized pieces will do. If you want them chopped finer, feel free to chop it finer, okay? Whatever floats your boat, okay? When you're making my recipes, I want you to make it how you like, okay? So if you like to use red onion, then by all means, absolutely, use red onion. If you are a person that loves to use shallots or you like your onions nice and small pieces, then that's what you do. You make my recipes how you can enjoy the recipe, okay? Promise me you'll do that, guys. Because a lot of times I can make something and you all will comment and say, oh my gosh, Vegina, really, I don't really like mushrooms here's the thing if you don't like mushrooms you don't have to use them you know and it's that simple absolutely it's that simple okay so we have our onions nice and chopped beautifully we have all of our vegetables ready and we'll chop that parsley right before we get ready to use it okay we got our meat going we have the lentils in the back starting to heat up. Okay, the water hasn't started boiling just yet. This is doing exactly what I want it to do. Okay, so when our beef is nice and beautifully golden brown, I'll show you the next step. I'll be back. 
Okay, everyone, so my beef has the beautiful sear on it that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beef out of the pan, turn the pan off, and I'm gonna bring my lentils forward so you all can see what we're gonna do next. Okay, everyone, let's get started on the base of our beautiful lentil soup. Okay, so let's go ahead and put us some olive oil in our pan. You all that know me, you know I'm using my favorite wok today. I love this wok. I use this wok for everything that I can. Now, some of you might say, because you ask me every day, where did you get this wok from? This wok was a present to me probably about six years ago. My father got it for me um, as a Christmas present. All I know about this wok is it came from the Wolfgang Puck collection. And I know that you can find a set that's similar to this on Amazon. Okay, so now we have some olive oil in here. Let's get started cooking our nice veggies. In goes, in goes our beautiful onion, just like so. Okay. In goes the carrots, as well as the celery and butternut squash. Okay, and we're just going to saute these up until the onions start to get nice and translucent. And what translucent is, translucent is where, make sure you have your heat on a medium high right now. Translucent is where your onions are going to start to get clear in color. And then once the onions begin to get clear in color, we'll throw in our, uh, our garlic, I'm sorry. Okay. So then, because you don't want to put your garlic in now, because I feel like if you put your garlic in now, what will happen is your garlic will burn. And you don't want it to burn. The reason why is because you don't want it to burn, <laughs> right? So let's take a peek in over here. You can see that my lentils are coming to a, a nice boil, okay? I'm going to turn them down a little bit because they don't need to cook that hard, okay? So these are on to a medium heat, the lentils are. I've just turned them down. And the veggies are starting to cook up beautifully. This recipe is so easy, so much fun, and yet it tastes so good. Lentils. Now this recipe can definitely be turned into a vegetarian. Because for one, you don't have to use the beef for two, you don't have to use the Maggie beef bouillon flavor and you don't have to use the beef broth, okay? You take those out and you can use a vegetarian vegetable stock, okay? And take the meat away. And it's delicious without the meat. Um, I just, when I think of lentils, I've always used beef in my lentils. But if you don't have the beef in it, Honestly, it's a hearty meal, and it tastes like you're eating meat. It's just delicious, and I suggest that you all give it a try just once, just to say, you know, whether you like it or you don't. Absolutely, because there's so many people that say, mm -mm, I'm not going to eat it, you know, and they've never tried it before. What I like to always say is, hey, listen here, don't knock it until you try it at least once. Okay, I'm going to come over here, and I want to cut up my beautiful uh, fresh parsley, because the parsley is going to need to go in right after we put our garlic in. Okay, so I'm going to grab my knife out so that we can cut that. Okay, let's go on in, and I just like to give it a nice roll, and make sure you rinse it off, and just cut it just like so. Okay, I'm just going to cut through this a few times. And then, like I said, once we have our garlic in and nice and cooked, that's when we'll want to put your fresh parsley in. Make sure it's fresh parsley. Okay? It smells beautifully. Ooh, it smells good. Okay, and that's just fine. You don't have to mince it or anything like that. All right? Okay, so peeking in back in at our beautiful vegetables. 
They're cooking up beautifully. Lentils are doing exactly what we want them to do as well. I highly suggest that you all use that butternut squash in this lentil soup. Boy, is it good. Mm. So our, our onions are almost translucent. So we're going to go ahead, put our beautiful onion in just like so, and start to get that onion cooked up. And then when we put our tomatoes in, now, here's the thing about the tomato situation. If you're going to put tomatoes in yours, you can use a tomato sauce. Absolutely you can. You can use a tomato puree. You can use fresh Roma tomatoes. Or you can use diced tomatoes. Okay, and I like to use the Hunts. I always like to use the Hunts. They have the best, freshest tomatoes that are canned. Okay? Beautiful. I can start to smell the garlic. Very prevalent. That means that the garlic is cooking. Okay. Now we're going to want to go in with your tomatoes, the juice and all. Okay. Don't drain it because you need that beautiful juice. It's going to give off lots of flavor. Oh, yes. Now we're talking, right? Can you all see down in this dish? Let me know in the comment section. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to move my camera a little bit. If you all can see down into the pots here. I want to get the best picture that I can get. I like for you all to feel like you are actually in this kitchen with me. I love a great picture. Absolutely, I do. That's why I've chose the camera that I've chose. I'm going to try my best to give you all... The greatest of the views so you can feel like you're right in this kitchen with me looking down into these pots beautiful so we're gonna let this simmer for around about seven to ten minutes and then we will put our fresh parsley in our beef broth and a couple of seasonings okay now remember with the beans I'm just giving them a nice stir we're not gonna season them don't season them just yet okay but I'll let you know when beautiful Oh, yeah, baby. You want to see what these... Look at these. That's what they should start to look like. Let's see. I'll bring it a little closer. This is what they should look like. But they're not cooked, okay? But they're getting there, okay? Um, lentils have so much antioxidant, so much pro protein. Very healthy for you. Absolutely. Okay, this is doing beautiful. Now we want to grab our parsley. Put your parsley in there. And that's one full bundle of fresh parsley. Okay? Give it a nice whirl. Isn't that the most beautiful colors? Most beautiful flavors and colors as well. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Okay, now what we're going to do, you're going to go ahead and put your Sazon packet, and you only need one packet, okay? If you were making a two-pound pack of lentils, maybe you could use two packs, but you only need one, okay? Let's give this a nice stir, and this is going to give off a beautiful color as well as a beautiful flavor. Absolutely it will. Oh, it smells. Guys, listen here. It smells so delicious. Woo, already it does. Yes. And I'm so excited. Okay, so then we want to grab our beautiful meat that we seared off. Any juices that came with it as well. Put it right on in there. Like I said, feel free to not use the meat because you don't have to use it, okay? Trust me, guys. You hear me? Trust me. Woo wee Oh, yeah, baby. Now, I'm going to bring some spices towards me. Okay. Now, let's go ahead, and we're going to use some beef broth. Okay. Remember, I'm making lentil soup. Okay. Put you some beef broth, and I like to use the whole 32-ounce container here 
all right if you wanted to they have broths that are um, salt free you could use that as well absolutely you can see how beautiful this is guys is this the most beautiful dish that you've ever seen and we're not done no we're not done um let's go in with some maggie beef bouillon flavor how much gina hey just put you some in there and put as much as you like to have in your dish okay garlic powder absolutely you have to and curry powder i told you all i was going to try some curry powder in mine and we're going to do just that that's all i'm going to use in my dish today okay oh woo, it smells delicious who doesn't love be honest with me guys i'm gonna use a little bit of turmeric because it's healthy for you who doesn't love curry curry flavored anything i know i do and there's so many of us out there that does this is just black pepper okay and then we're gonna go in with some ground allspice ground allspice is awesome okay i'm gonna give it a nice whirl and we're just gonna let it go and we're gonna let it cook on to a medium flame oh yeah Woo! that smells delicious my word you hear me mm, let me smell that again let's see oh Oh, just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're just going to let this go. Don't put a lid on it because you don't need a lid. You don't want it to steam and get more uh, liquid than you, what you actually need. Now, peeking over here at the lentils, they're doing just beautiful. They're not done. But when they're done, we're going to transfer our, our, our lentils minus the water that's in here into our beautiful soup mixture. I'll be back, everyone. Okay, everybody, my lentils are done. It's been 45 minutes that they've cooked. See this? Hold on. I need to come a little bit closer. Nice and soft. See that? But they're going to cook even longer because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pour them out of this water. Okay, pour them out of this water and put them into our beautiful soup that we have here. Okay, all of the vegetables are just about done. I just need maybe about 15 more minutes on that butternut squash. The meat is nice and tender in here. Okay, and we have lentil soup 101. Hey, seriously, guys, I tasted this broth and almost lost my mind. It is so, look at all that flavor in there. It is so flavorful and so delicious. I could eat it just this way without the beans. Mm, but you have to have those beans. Let's go ahead and I'm going to turn these off. I want to drain them and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I have our lentils nice and drained. Let me bring them close so y'all can see that. See that? And they're nice and tender. Okay? And so we're going to put them in. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm going to start off with that much. Okay? Cause I don't want to have too many and oh my goodness this right here this is what you call beautiful oh my word I'm gonna save those beans that I have here and I'm gonna put them in a salad Th these lentils that I have left over this right here is just perfect for me we want to let these cook for around about maybe 15 more minutes because I want to get that butternut squash nice and tender and we have Lentil soup. Hey, listen here. If you never had this before, hey, you better make you some. You better make you some. Hoo Look at this. Oh, my word. Boy, am I hungry. I have some naan bread on the side. I'm going to dunk this in. If you wanted to put this over top of white rice or white rice on the side, you can. Do whatever you please. Like I said, you don't have to use the beef. You don't have to use the beef broth. Use vegetable absolutely this right here is nice and healthy i have to taste this right now i'm just going to taste the broth guys look at this Hoo -wee. okay everybody our lentil soup is done check it out guys look at this i'm going to give you a big scoop there so you can see 
just what this looks like. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? It's so beautiful. See that there? That's what you want it to look like. Nice chunks of meat. Look at the tomato. And we have those veggies in there, as well as that butternut squash. Oh my goodness, if you all never had this before, you better make you some. All right, let's give this a try. So you can see over here, I have some hot, fresh naan bread that we're gonna use. And we're just gonna scoop that up with that, okay? I've heated my naan bread up and I put a little bit of olive oil on there with some garlic powder. All right, let's serve up a nice bowl. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for our blessings. We thank you for the roof over our head. We thank you for feeding us and taking care of us. We pray that you send your angels down to surround us, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind, Lord. We ask you to please forgive us for our sins, Lord. And once again, we say thank you for this meal and amen. This right here is lentil soup, guys. Check it out. Oh, my word. You see this? Woo! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And you make sure when you make yours, you put you some curry powder in there. Ooh, it's delicious. All right, let's dig in. Okay? Mmm. First, I want you all to taste it this way. Get a little bit of everything on here. Mmm. Okay. Hold on guys, I'm trying not to burn my mouth because right now this is so hot right now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna taste it this way and then I'm gonna let you all taste this with that beautiful naan bread that we have. Mm. Let's let it cool down for a second. Give that a taste. Mm -hmm. Taste that, my word, look at this. Taste this. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. oh my goodness! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Man, is that tasty? Look at this, guys. Put you some right in here right in the middle of that beautiful naan bread and then give it a taste and let me know what you think oh my word mm, mm, mm. i can't take it any longer guys i'm seriously going in mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. i am so in heaven right now look at this oh Mmm. Woo, that's good. Make you some lentil soup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And when you make it, make it Jeannie Young style. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. Mmm. -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Good night. Take that last bite right there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Make you some, guys.